Oh, yeah. Jen's going to do a model lesson. Yeah, if you want to check it out over here. Yeah. Okay. Echo? You grab them too? Grab what? Grab them too, bring them over. 1.5 kilowatts system is nice and simple, it's tiny, it would never run a conventional home, but you have more than enough power and inertia, that's probably like 20 grand or so. Alright, so I'm starting now, and I just want to see how everyone's feeling towards the end of the the end of the build and uh, get your feedback and how you what your experience has been like um, from the build the job site to the students to the housing to everything how's everything feeling uh, everything's feeling awesome ever since I got here the other students that have come have been so awesome and nice so we really have our own own little new family going on and we've all <laughs> are connected by how much we love Earthships and uh, I think we've all learned so much um, and just hey guys, being morning. here <laughs> Good morning! Sugar cane! Thanks Damien! Yeah. <laughs> participate in the project in Jamaica. Um, in terms of the people who I met here, I think everybody is awesome and we sometimes say that it's impossible how it was so nice. That's surreal. So people are really, really cool here. Um, um, so that's one of the best sort of um, part of experience here that it was possible to meet like-minded people, which you probably wouldn't have a chance to meet as much at home. This is the concrete board. Yeah. <laughs> and we're all doing concrete now. So you gotta keep it dry, bro. You got everything. Big relief actually when I got here, and uh, I was nervous of how the people would be and how the living situation was. But it was so, so much better than I had anticipated. <laughs> I was really nervous. Um, everybody was really friendly at first. You know, it was great. Um, coming off the plane was easy. The transportation was easy to get to the airport from here. Very easy, very relaxing. And I think that really kind of helped set up the vibe. You know, if we came in, it was a little bit more hectic than I think, you know, it would have just kind of cascaded from that point. But, you know, uh, everything just was so easy to begin with. We all got along at the house, which I think really helped transform to the site, you know, the positive attitude. Um, everybody got along great, you know, and like I said, it really transferred here. And uh, you guys and the crew, you know, 
we started here at the end, started hanging out and getting to know each other too. So it kind of became like a big family, which mm -hmm. I really like. I liked our beach day. Mm -hmm. You know, I liked the fact that we just all had a good time and didn't really talk about the problems. Yeah. You know? and that's, that's important to me, to keep things positive. Off here, just to kind of test it out and make sure that we were good and level. Um, and what I what I did is make we make sure that we're level this way. And I take the small ones, make sure that we're level that way on each one, you know, as you go down. And that they're all the same this way. Make sure you look at, kind of go around it and look at it from all angles. Because that's going to set whatever, wherever you're going with. I'm not sure what I'm going to do right here. But maybe it'll be a shorter glass bottle that we cut to fit this corner. As we're coming around this curve, curves are a little harder, so you're going to have one piece that is closer on one end than the others. These are wider, these are closer. These are our first courses, so I want it to be as level as possible. This one's a little low. So I added a little more cement. Um, the people, like just the locals were freaking awesome, just, you know, so welcoming, so warm, so just like, people. <laughs> yeah. Um, the crew, I mean, I couldn't ask for a better crew, I mean, they did, I mean, it seems like they all know what they're doing, they were able to stay on point, they were able to like, just keep, keep everything rolling, and just getting that knowledge transfer has been so vital. Um, awesome. And just saying, because these things may look easy to build. You watch enough YouTube videos, you could get cocky enough to think, hey, I could build one of these <laughs> things. But that's not necessarily the thing. It's, you know, it's good to get, get in, get in with the experts and, you know, know what's going on when these things are going up. Seeing, seeing like the mistakes that you're making as you're doing it and just being able to go through all of that and have, you know, people that have been doing this for years being able to show you, no, 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 you know, maybe get this a little bit more level before you start on the next course, you know, stuff like that. Bonjour, euh, bonjour, je m'appelle Arnold, je suis français et euh, donc euh, je suis venu avec ma copine Mireille euh, travailler sur le projet euh, parce que nous-mêmes on voudrait avoir une, se construire un chip et plus être, euh, être dépendant des, des mobiles, du gaz, du pétrole, euh, de l'électricité et, euh, et en plus bah, venir en Jamaïque c'était un rêve pour nous deux et travailler sur le musée du reggae c'est encore mieux. Euh, et euh, bah voilà, euh, je ne sais pas quelqu'un d'autre. Euh, par rapport à. Euh, oui, il y a une chose. Qu Qu'est-ce qu que, euh, euh, qu que tu as aimé Est-ce que tu as aimé apprendre des trucs euh, Ah, ouais, ouais on a appris aimé, plein de choses. Euh... Avec le, la barrière de la langue, c'est un peu compliqué parce qu'on parle mal anglais, mais euh, il suffit de regarder euh, nos potes travailler et on comprend tout de suite euh, ce qui se passe. Puis ils prennent le temps de nous expliquer. Et euh, ah oui, il y a une chose qui me plaît beaucoup, c'est le fait que quand le musée sera terminé, la communauté, avec l'argent que cela va engendrer, la communauté euh, ici va acheter un bus pour les écoliers et, 
Et euh, donc l'énergie que dépensent les écoliers pour aller à l'école, ben là maintenant ça sera. Ils seront dans un bus et l'énergie ça sera pour apprendre. Voilà, donc je, je, je suis super content. Je suis super fier. Voilà voilà. <rire> bye bye. <rire> kind of did is just kind of you know I kind of went from group to group and like learned you know once I learned the cans you know I did the cans for a little bit and then I would uh, you know after that I would go do something else that I haven't done and I mean that's how I did it and I enjoyed you guys you know allowing people to do that you know I mean you allow people to once you've done the rock walls or the can walls you can you know do a little more tires or whatever and that's one thing I think that you guys got going for you is um, is allowing, um, I don't know, more freedom, more, more uh, comfort type, type of setting where you know if someone feels like they really want to learn something, you know they can just jump, jump on it and start doing it. All right. Get off. Get better. because the people are really nice and the buildings are really cool. <laughs> and I think that all the people here, uh, they help out, well they do, they help out with pounding these tires which like never get knocked down. And I think that's a really cool thing, using tires that people would have thrown away or put in a landfill or burned them or something. And that's not good for the planet, but using them to actually make a building that's good and strong, I think that's a good thing. 